I don't think for Hi, I'm this Benedictina from Dare to Begin Life Coaching, and today we have the honour to be with Dina Husseini, who is my friend. Hi, Dina. Hello, Vespina. How's New Zealand? Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's the most beautiful country. <laughs> um, Dina is an author, and she is a great inspiration to me. Um, we're doing part two of her journey with being a writer and being an author. Um, and so we're going to pick your brains again. Do you mind? No, that would be great. Um, now, you've, um, you've written how many books? Four. Three are actual books. The fourth one is a poetry book. And what inspires you to be a writer? Honestly, inspiration came to me when I was, when I was like 16 years old and um, an incident happened. And uh, when I lost a friend, I thought, you know, I might as well write something to her, like a poem. Yeah. And in, in my poetry book, I do have a poem dedicated to her. Uh, so after that, I just left it to the side but I started thinking about, I don't know, it's like inside me, I just wanted to write something, you know? It's like this feeling that something was brewing. Yeah. And I was inspired to write like a life story, but then I didn't want it to make a life story. I just created something that is today called My Last Breath. Um, and and um, The Last Breath, wow, that's, um, yeah, pretty sad about your friend. That's pretty sad. Um, a writer it's sort of like you're if, if for me writing and I you know I'm sure for you it's like bringing out what's inside that's bottled up and bringing it up is that yeah how that's how I feel like okay there might be times when I'm full of emotions but what most people say is that writing with emotions is the most important part of writing because you actually write the truth comes out, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if you want to write an emotional scene and you're happy dandy, it's not going to turn out well, you know? You should be in the frame of mind of that emotional scene to actually write that scene. For example, I had a scene where I have to write about a car crash. I literally put myself in that frame of mind where I lost the person or I was in the car crash and I wrote exactly those feelings. I'm not trying to say that, no, go out there and crash your car or something. No, you don't have to be in that situation, but just put yourself in the shoes of that person or put yourself in your frame of mind of if you experience that emotion or that loss so you can write that. It's very um, important to write emotions. Like you said, you go through, you go through the emotions. How many times does it take you to actually write the final copy? Um, some people take one or two times. Some people take 10, 20. It depends on your manuscript. Like for example, my last breath went into so many editing processes. Uh, it was first called The Love Wave, and then it went into The Love Chronicle, and then it was called Anna's Journey, and it went through so many processes. It was, it was going to be a one book, like a solo book, but when I got a lot of people reading it, they told me at the end of the book, it feels like there's something missing, like there's, there should be more. Okay. So I deleted the last part, and I rewrote it, and I restructured it. And this is why My Last Breath is book one in the three book series. Okay. It was going to be just a book one and nothing else, but it became book one in a three book series. Yeah. So as you go along, it sort of unfolds how the book's going to go. Like if there's going to be a sequel or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but just a small advice. When you write a book, you leave it to the side at least three to six months 
if people are in a hurry, make it three to six weeks at least. And then you go back to reading it because after you write it, you're like almost drained from your ideas, almost drained from your emotions and everything. So okay. you need that break. You know, okay. every writer needs that break. And that break is very important. That break space from your writing can help you reflect on what you wrote. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, what would you say in the writing process would be the hardest scene or the hardest part of the book? <laughs> the hardest scene for me specifically um, is the scene where I have to kill off my favorite characters or okay. I have to break off like a relationship between two characters that I really wanted together or uh, it comes to the point where I'm trying to get rid of that character it's any any emotional scene where I feel like the the reader will feel it too because i received like a comment on one of my my last breath uh, scenes where um the reader read it and she came to me and she told me like she really felt emotional like she felt the emotions there she felt like the pure emotions that i when i wrote with it like for example the death scene um hint hint <laughs> there is a death scene in the book yeah <laughs> so yeah that kind of that those kind of scenes for me are the hardest because I literally get into like the pure emotional background and I I cried once when I wrote that scene so it, it is hard when 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 I'm writing those kinds of emotions and those kinds of hard scenes because I put myself in that those shoes and the character shoes and I kind of sort of forget that I'm actually in real life, you know, and I, I'm the writer. Oh, wow. So, okay. You know, sometimes authors, they go through that intense emotional baggage. And this yeah. is what gets us uh, like stuck. And this is how we try to, uh, it's, it's hard to get out of it, you know? Yeah. Um, so the best thing to do is when you're in that scene, take like two or three hours before you go into a different scene. Okay. Because being in that frame of mind and that emotional back baggage, it's really hard to get out of it okay. unless you're an expert. <laughs> um, can you tell me about the type of genre that you write? What, like, what kind of books do you write? Um, well, <laughs> I'm known as a dramatic genre, dramatic thriller, a little bit of romance. I'm not too much keen on, on the romance factor. I started writing fantasy, uh, which is like, uh, it's a genre that I'm looking forward to, to uh, branching out on. Um, but mine, uh, my specialty is more thriller and suspense. So thriller, yeah. That, that might be scary getting into that scene, getting into that, you know, frame of Sometimes, mind. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> um, talked about last breath and, yeah, you, you gave us a bit of a hint that there's a, um, a murder or there's a death in it. Um, when is the next, the sequel coming out? You talked about having other uh, books in the series. Yeah, My Last Triangle is coming out next year, hopefully the middle of the year. It's mm -hmm. being written at the moment, and I can give you a small hint. There's going to be a cave exploration, so something will happen in the cave. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. Um, so just sort of roughly speaking, how long did it take you to write the, My Last Breath? The original, now my last breath, took me to write exactly six months with yeah. the editing and everything. But uh, before that, obviously, I started from, I think, 2005, started writing it. And uh, it became my last breath last year. Oh, okay. So it's been a while in the making. Yeah. Um, now, we talked a little bit about, like, writing a book and how there's so many drafts how important is like having professional editors look at your book it's very important 
because editing is like the design of your cake. Mm -hmm. So you know when you want to buy a cake, it's always designed to perfection. There's no flaw. Obviously, yeah. there's going to be nitty gritty flaw, like bits and pieces here and there. But for it to be a professional cake and out to market, it's it's flaw flawless. So professional editing is always a, a must. Even beat better readers, even critics, uh, critical partners, um, just readers, random readers to read your work to tell you what your mistakes are or how to improve or where to improve and stuff like that. Everything in that process, it's like a salad of process, basically. Okay. It is a must to have the best editing for your book. Um, it, it, it's sort of a little bit, uh, what can I say? You feel bad when people your work and sort of criticize it, but it's something that you have, a, you know, you have a critic on. It's something that you have to just get, suck it up and just get on with it. Exactly, yeah. I know most of the authors that are not into the whole rewriting and re-editing re and rereading and whatever, but the re part is going to benefit you and help you as an author grow, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I believe take your time, take your space, your, 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 your casual writing should be <laughs> flawless, okay? It should be one top shop, end the story. Um, you sort of spill your guts out and you write sort of so much and then somebody comes along with a red marker and sort of crosses it all out. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, just, if we can ask you just the last question that, I, you know, because this is interesting. Um, Oh, you talked about before about becoming emotional and slipping into the role of the character and being in the scene and using, yeah. Um, would you say that you actually are the characters? Are they part of your personality? Some characters, like similar yes. to you. Yes, some characters, yes. Um, <laughs> there are some characters that I portray from the personality that I want to show to people sometimes, like that snobbish personality that I don't have in real life, I show it in my writing, or the personality that says, oh, I don't need you anymore, I show it in my writing, you know, okay. there, are kinds of, there are kinds of characters where I, I build that character based on what I would have seen myself as, okay. you know. Okay. And it, it, it happens and it works flawlessly. It's amazing. I, I mean, I even base most of the, my characters on people I know, you know, and I, okay. I sort of tweak their characteristics a little bit. Um, that is so cool. I, yeah, I mean, it, it's the best thing. I love writing characters. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, do you mind, once we've finished this, if you could leave your details underneath... Um, yeah, our interview so people can get in contact with you and find out where to get your books and who you are, you know, more about you. Definitely. I already have like a page ready and okay. I'll, I'll post it. Excellent stuff. Well, I would like to thank you so much and we might pick your brains again. Doesn't matter. <laughs> are you sure that? as much as you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.